Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to customize Avia Trotter from Monster High. It's been more than two years since Poppin Atelier customized her own Avia doll and she turned her into a winter unicorn. I really loved her video and it inspired me a lot to customize this doll. It took me a really long time to get Avia since she is pretty rare. But finally I managed to get her and today we are going to turn her into a winter deer doll. Last year I made a winter fairy, so if you are interested in, please check it out. So first of all I switched her hands with operettas. I cut off her hair and her tail piece. Off camera I used hair dryer to soften the vinyl head. I disconnected from the body and I used long tweezers to remove the remaining hair through the neck hole. I'm going to start the work on her horse body. I will paint it and blush it. So I'm using a nail buffer to remove the shiny surface. This also removes the painted monster high skulls on her tights. I'm also cutting off the feathers from her arms. After I finished buffing the body, I'm using rubbing alcohol to remove the dust. Originally this doll has wings, so now she has holes on her back. I'm filling up those with milliput and I'm sculpting a little doll tail for her. With my airbrush I'm going to paint her body. I really like her purple color, so I'm not going to change that. I'm only giving her white highlights. I'm kinda obsessed with deer dolls, I've customized several of them. I also own an Easy Done Dancer doll in my collection. She's one of my favorite, I would never repaint her. So this is the reason why I chose the deer theme to this year's winter doll. I know I'm kinda late with this winter video. Here the weather is changing into spring already, but I hope you don't mind it. I'm painting her cute little tail with acrylic paint, matching to her body, and also the milliput on her back using lighter purple. I'm using more types of shimmer powders, I would like to achieve a very shiny, sparkly effect on her body, like when the sun shines on the white fresh snow. I mostly use silver on the hooves and purple on her whole body. If you dab your brush into water and then into shimmer powder, you will get a more vibrant effect, it will turn into like tempera. With gouache paint I'm painting small dots on her back and with this her body is basically done. I'm trying to show you how sparkly it is. We can move on to the head now. I'm wiping off her factory makeup with pure acetone first. I really like Avia's ears, but I would like to change their position, so I'm cutting them off very gently with my X-Acto knife. Out of two part milliput, I'm sculpting her deer antlers. I start with the biggest part first, I let it harden completely for a couple of hours. Then I will sculpt the rest of her antlers. I also secured a piece of wire into them and I marked the place where the ears and the antlers go. Thank you. 
This is how they look. Now I'm going to cover them with a couple of layers of white gesso. When I'm happy with the opacity, I start using shimmer powders. I close them with glossy varnish and now I'm gluing gl glitters onto some areas, it will leave a frosty finish. I'm sculpting some tiny white roses out of polymer clay. Later I will use them as decorations. I bake them in the oven for about 7 minutes. Despite of the fact that she's a deer, I still wanted to make her an outfit. First I was planning to make her a blanket out of white furry fabric. You can see how I'm making it now, but later I changed my mind about it. I had the idea to make her little jars filled with magical snow and frost, which are actually glitters. I had a story for her, which tells that she is a fairy tale creature, she brings the winter into the forest. She walks around and sprinkles snow everywhere with her jars. And that's the time when the season comes, she turns everything white. Off camera I made her cape, covering her shoulders in the cold weather. I used the same fabric and with fabric paint and with a sponge dipped in water I'm creating a gradient. I made her a t-shirt, but I didn't like it. Then I made her another one. I also didn't like it. I collected all the pieces of her outfit and started rising everything and modified the parts I didn't like. But I said, let's take it aside and let's continue working on the head. I painted her sculpt with white acrylic paints and then I let it dry completely. For the reroute I'm using nylon hair from the doll hair emporium called peppermint nylon. I measured three equal pieces of the length, I cut them and then I start rerouting. After a couple of hours the hair is done. I left the space for the antlers and the ears bald. There is two little holes where I cut off the ears. I'm covering those with air dry clear permanently, so the glue won't leak. Off camera I boil washed her hair, I let it dry and I'm protecting it with a perlas sock and pins. I cleaned the face again with acetone and I sprayed it with Mr. Super Clear Sealant twice before I start the face up. As usual, I start with sketching the eyebrows, which are going to be white to match the hair. Then the eyes, which are going to be big doughy eyes. I have to repeat the white layers many times to get a vibrant color. I'm using watercolor pencils and soft pastels.
Of course, I use shimmer powders on the face as well. I add it in every layer. I'm painting her silver eyeshadows. Now I think the eyes are enough white, so I can sketch her irises, which are going to be purple. With white gouache paint, I'm painting tiny freckles on her cheeks. I only have black 3D doll lashes in stock, which wouldn't match to this doll, so I decided to draw them instead. I chose darker purple color and some white as highlights. I'm pretty satisfied with her new face, now I can gloss the eyes and the lips. I'm using clear gel nail polish and the UV LED torch. Now I can remove the pins and let's see the hair. I think it goes perfect with her new face. I'm going to secure the antlers and the ears into the head by using epoxy. I have to be very careful not to touch the hair. It hardens in 20 minutes, then I can style the hair. Meanwhile I put the head back onto the body and I made a lace top for her with fur fabric. And I decided to put the cape around her waist instead of her shoulders. I secured pins to the roses what I made before. And now I can decorate the hair and the antlers with them. As a final element I glued a snowflake to her top. And with this step, my winter doll is done. I named her Yuki, which means snow in Japanese. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please like this video, leave a comment and subscribe to my channel. I would really appreciate it. It makes me happy and it motivates me to make more and better dolls in the future. Please let me help to make my channel grow bigger. My next video is going to be another commission. But the video will be in my mother language because the customer is Hungarian and I promised her to make the video in Hungarian so she can understand it. So that's it for today. Thank you so much for watching and see you next time. Bye bye!